for the girls getting money. This is for the girls who don't need no man. This is for the girls who love with itself. This is for all the girls that did it by themselves. This is for all the girls that's I and D, E, P, E, and D and T. This is for all the girls that been living stress free. This is for all the girls on a mission like me. This is for all the girls around the world. Alright, so Sierra has put out a little promo of her new song promoting independence and women are upset. They're like, yo, how could you, Sierra? We're trying to get like you. You're over here trying to keep us single, but yet you're a happily married woman with kids. Nah, CC, this ain't it. But let's check out some of the comments. This woman right here says, Sierra, please stop this. We're tired of being independent. We want a life like yours. Please stop promoting this type of music when you're going straight home to get loved on. Exactly. Let's check out the next one. The audacity with the big ad ring on your finger. Nobody don't feel like being independent and paying all these bills by themselves. These women are starting to come to the realization that the whole independent lifestyle that the feminist movement and media has pushed upon them is really not worth the struggle, headache, and problems that actually comes with it. This woman says, I love Sierra, but it's obvious when she is just trying to make a song for the sake of making a hit. Talking about all the girls who don't need no man, like we all grown and want the same as you, sis. But what is this really? Yeah, we all know that she's trying to make a hit, but you can't tell women what it is that they actually need to hear. You gotta tell them what they wanna hear, right? Cause that's what sells. Each individual woman has to go through her own journey and path in life to come to the realization that, you know what, maybe this city girl lifestyle isn't what's best for me long term. Which is why we're getting these comments because nine times out of 10, these women that are leaving them are older women. Women that have aged and been through some experiences. Women that have aged and grown up with Sierra and Sierra's music. Then watch Sierra grow and blossom into the person that she is today. See that she got a good man that shows Sierra that he wasn't here to play and now these women are trying to follow suit with that too. They're looking, they're like, oh, I want that. What are you talking about? Don't feed us this mess. Tell us about what you got going on. We growing with you, we want to hear that stuff too. This woman here says, happily married woman making single music is my favorite music genre of irony. Right. This woman says, me searching for the girls that asked for this song. You going home to your man, girl, F you. Dang, they get real upset with Sierra about this song. Sierra, I am not listening to this because I need a man. Read it. You see that? What it say? I need a man. They, these once independent women are starting to come to that realization that they need a man. It's not just enough to want a man. They understand that they need one. Especially if you don't want to be the one carrying the load of them bills yourself, right? You don't need a man to do that for you. <laughs> I love to see it. LOL, the R&B and rap girls begin in the studio promoting women to be single and alone. And after they're done, they go home to their man. Exactly. All those city girls. When the city girls are making them city girl songs and all the girls were following suit. Guess what? Them girls was in relationship going home to their man. Them women were just buying into it like the fools they are. Don't do it. It's not a good look. I feel like after City Girls came out with all their music, then that's when you saw the rise of OF. Why do kept ass women with rich men always want to push independence as if they really live that ish? Exactly what I just say. <laughs> they don't. Them same successful independent R&B and rap divas that promote this stuff they got a man that's taking care of business. As a matter of fact, what did I just hear Big Lotto just say recently? I don't want no kids yet. Okay. I don't want no kids yet, but um, yeah. You just when, have, you, when you, yours, you please your you mind. Just, you please your yeah, man. Yeah, when it's yours, you can go crazy. So you encourage all the women to, you know what I'm saying, go crazy with their man. If it's yours. If it's yours. You got to make sure that's yours. Mm. If it's yours, go crazy. So, if he, uh, you know what I'm saying, I got the bet. I got the lamb, I got the Birkins. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got I got the heart. Okay. I don't, I don't pay no bills. You oh. know what I'm saying? If he coming like that, then yeah. Wait a minute, you don't you big lot on you don't pay no bills. I don't pay no bills. Mm. Mm -mm. So you just stacking all that cheese. Yeah. Come on, man. Twenty four uh, and Rick. Come like. on, stop playing. You know what I'm saying? If he coming right, and he coming right. Okay. Then you can, then you can. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad about that. So this woman makes millions of dollars. But yet she got a man that's taking care of all her finances. But her music will have you thinking otherwise. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
Anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.